Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun to master the fundamentals. Friends, as we are making progress on our ITGC journey, I got a few questions related to independence in context of an audit and compliance area. So I decided to cover this topic in this separate video as it may help all of you. So friends, the question I received was around what does independence mean in relation to an audit or compliance world have highlighted the question here on the board as well what is the context of independence when you talk about audit and compliance let us first understand the term independence because then we can dive in what is the context around audit independence versus for other layers of defense independence simply means to not have any conflict of interest for that given party the reason it is important is because independence provides more credibility to the results as it is free from any sort of business interest so that's the definition of independence when you talk about audit or compliance world now let us understand the relation of independence to the three lines of defense because that will help provide clarity to the question here before i dive into this topic friends i've also covered the three lines of defense area in two separate videos earlier one is titled the three lines of defense and there was a separate viewer question related to a carrier in it risk audit and compliance so you can find both the videos on my channel uh, the link to which I'll, I'll be posted posting in the description section of this video as well so I suggest watching them first for thorough understanding now coming back to the independence question in relation to the three lines of defense specific to our IT world again the three lines of defense exist for in any company uh, for all functions I will just talk very specific to the IT world as you can see here I've created three columns to provide the details around the three lines of defense and there is some verbiage here as well we'll go through everything step by step when you talk about the first line of defense you're talking about the operations team that's what the core role is to run the day-to-day -day IT operations like our application server and database teams when you talk about the second line of defense these are our IT risk and compliance people they act as risk liaisons helping the first line of defense in the design and implementation of IT processes and operations so the first line is responsible for the overall design and implementation to run the day-to-day -day operations the second line will assist the first line provide the support they need with the design and implementation so that's a slight difference between the first line and, and second line now this is an important concept because as the second line like IT compliance helps the first line in the design and implementation the second line cannot be fully independent the reason they are not fully independent is because they have played a role in setting it up so there is automatically an element of the conflict of interest so when you talk about independence and we are talking about independence from a audit lens there is lesser independence or it's, there is no complete independence in the second layer here because they were part of that function which was helping set it up um, be when because there is an element of a business interest here we cannot call the second line an independent layer or an independent function uh, small example is it is very similar to a concept where I create a process and then I attest it is a good process which ideally should be done by an independent party with no business interest so and there is a lot of confusion that is the reason I got um, quite a few questions on this topic on why is IT compliance not fully independent and this is the primary reason and this brings to the third line of defense which is 
like an IT audit team, they will come into the picture because audit functions are independent without any conflict of interest and therefore responsible for providing assurance over the IT control environment across the layers. So just to recap friends, um, the question was what does independence mean in relation to auditor compliance? Again, the definition, simple definition of independence is having no conflict of interest that will add more credibility to the results. Applying this concept in the three lines of defense. First line is our day-to-day -day operations people who will design and implement the day-to-day -day processes to support operations. Second line will help with the first line with this design and implementation. And the third line is audit functions typically providing assurance across what the first line and second line are doing. From an audit lens, the independence, you if you see the, the third column, it's a no for both first line and second line because they are involved in setting up the environment so they cannot attest it. That's what that independence audit lens means. But it's a yes for the third line because they have no conflict of interest, no business interest. I hope the video helped clarify this question and an important topic around independence in context of an audit and compliance. Um, friends, if you have more such questions, please feel free to reach out through the YouTube comment section and I'll be more than happy to create a video if required. Thanks and keep watching. Till then, bye.